I want to welcome you to the 17th annual Stony Brook Film Festival. This festival takes filmmaking very, very seriously. Probably more seriously than most festivals I've ever been to. When you watch a film at 3 in the morning in January, and you say, this is a great film, I want to show it, and then you got to put it on a screen, on a 40-foot screen for 1,000 people, you hope it really worked. And I was from the beginning of the movie to the end. Terry Green's film had them at the beginning, had them throughout, and I was very excited. And the party's amazing tonight, so great opening night. So it's a movie about the disintegration of civil liberties. It's a movie about profiling. It's a movie about immigration. All these things that are prevalent today happened 95 years ago. And so history, left unchecked, tends to repeat itself. So they love the movie. They love the character. It's a meaningful story, and uh, I like the way the people responded to this movie. I love the Stony Brook Film Festival. It's my third time here. It's my third film here. I, my first film was in 2003, and I'm back here nine years later. I love it here. I love the whole atmosphere. Behind the Orange Curtain is about prescription drug abuse. It takes place in Orange County, California, but it affects everybody across the country. Prescription drug abuse has reached epidemic proportions in our country, and that's what we address in this film. It's not a very light topic very serious issue we're talking about here. And I know some of the stats were shown up there on the screen. Um, the thing is, is that the number one cause of death among adolescents is prescription pill overdoses. The number one cause. We want everybody, to, as many people, to see this as possible. We want to get it in the schools. We've had schools contact us. We've had hospitals contact us. We, I think everybody that, you know, like uh, middle school and high school, they need to see this. So that's what we're working on now. We, we just finished the film. Thank you. We had to come all the way to Long Island to find a screen this big, but uh, you know, it's, uh, we're very excited about it, and uh, we've heard the Stony Brook audience is, is really fantastic, so looking forward to hearing some of their questions and talking to them about the movie. Shanghai Calling is a uh, romantic comedy about American expats living in modern-day Shanghai, China. Our lead actress is Eliza Koop. Um, she is on the TV show Happy Endings right now. It's a really big comedy on ABC, and she is just so funny and so beautiful. In the script, she has to speak pretty fluent Chinese. Well, let's use that, speak Chinese loosely, because I definitely do speak Chinese, but it's not, I didn't learn the language, so to speak. I did learn a lot. It was like three hours a day with a teacher, and by the end it was, um, I don't know what English sounded like, if it was right. It's all very, it all actually sounded like I was German. A Side by Side is a documentary that kind of explores where we are today with filmmaking, um, the way that traditional photochemical film is kind of being replaced by digital technology and uh, how that's impacting the industry. And we interview some of the top directors, uh, directors of photography and other um, filmmakers in the world. It was pretty nerve-wracking interviewing, setting up the camera and lighting some of the best DPs in the business, you know, these are the best guys in the world, so a couple of them have, you know, looked at me and kind of said, you know, move the, that light over here, and so it was a little humbling, but uh, it was a great experience. I think it's a great venue, a nice theater, great way to watch a movie. That's a big screen, good seating. There's a full crowd, always enjoy that. Love it, and uh, this is the fir third time I'm coming back. The people here are amazing. Many of them have been affiliated with the festival for years and years. It's a family, and they just open their arms and envelop you and uh, make you feel at home, and they're very excited about uh, the film that we bring into the festival. I think it's a great film festival. I mean, it's close to New York City. It's a beautiful campus, a beautiful part of the country, uh, really well organized, great facility beautiful ground, so we're just really honored to be here. So. It has been really amazing. I think it's transformational, intellectually transformational. Some of the movies we had this week, 
they've been phenomenal. You know, really provoking some deep thinking, but also lots of fun and uh, lots of action. So I think it's been great. Audience choice for best short film, Bordando La Frontera. The Shorts Jury Award. The winner is Shoot the Boot. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What can I say? I'm, I'm very honored and I'm very excited. The, uh, the f uh, Festival Achievement Award for Outstanding Performance this year goes to Philip Torreton for his remarkable performance in the film Guilty. Best Feature Award, the Stony Brook Film Festival Audience Choice, goes to Wunderkinder. <laughs> Stony Brook Film Festival Feature Jury Award is a tie. Uh, the award is split between Shuffle and Taped. Grand prize is awarded when the jury and the audience both give a film a top rating. Uh, 2012 will be the first time that Sony Brook has given this award to a documentary, and that documentary is AKA Doc Pomus. This is the premiere and we've had an award. It's unbelievable. And then my father would be blown away. Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming and uh, eat, drink, and be merry, and it's great to see everybody. Thanks a lot. Well, I want great movies. I don't care if it's a comedy, a drama, a thriller, or if it's about, you know, anything. It's got to be well made. And that Alan Inkles, not only is he a sharp dresser, but he runs one hell of a festival.